So I'm a loose cannon. You have no idea when I'm gonna cut in. Alright, let's do it. So, we're playing Weaver today. This will be my my first run of Weaver since the Alpha, so I'll run you through what the Weaver does. Nice and nice and simple. The Weaver has Weaver. <laughs> uh, your threads attach to enemies and are a conduit for your bindings. Each thread grants plus one shielding, up to three shielding on all enemies, becoming on all enemies becoming threaded, gain controlled weaving once per turn. Controlled weaving gives you plus one will for the turn, and it goes away at the end of turn. So, this ability adds thread, and it's just like a little line. This ability deals damage evenly to all threaded enemies, and then this ability deals damage to a threaded enemy for each thread that you have. Makes sense? Oh yeah, also nearby threaded enemies are pulled towards the center. It'll be pretty simple. You set up your threads with this move, and then you either constrict to suck them all up, or you stitch to pull them all together and do bonus damage. Let's do it. Any questions? No? Good. I'm Goku. Inflict 140 Poison Burn Frostbite or Bleed. Inflict Dazed or Deal Critical Hits. Let's do Fully Augment 3 Bindings, although I don't really want to fight this boss again. You have a question? What's your question, friend? When defeating an enemy, gain two stacks of Shattered Will. Ten stacks gain a will. On collecting an orb, inflict three stacks of burn to the nearest enemy. On your first turn, gain three stacks of stealth. This is a ten ability power, and if you get hit, you dodge and lose a stack, or if you use a binding, you lose a stack. Come, come. Friend, that's not a question. Please refrain from using the language, I have a question, unless you have a question. Inflict a stack of frostbite and a stack of burn on this move? Doesn't that seem really bad? One stack of Frostbite, one stack of Burn on Stitch. I guess it's only a two-turn timer. Why'd you get banned for saying come twice? Uh, inappropriate communication, Cranberry? Pretty easy. Next question. I'll try it. Each time an enemy is hit, they gain 10 damage resist until end of turn. No. I'm collecting Norb, take 2 damage. We'll take the easy one here, although I do need to go to Garden's Edge. Actually, let's just fuck around and find out. Use her each time it hits? That's a good question. Maybe it hits every- maybe like per enemy hit, it'll stack an extra one? We'll see. Vestige unlocked, ink flat. Oh, so there are other unlocks. I thought that there weren't other unlocks, like relic unlocks. I was wrong. No money early. I'm a big tarnished cage guy for the early game. Give me more money. Or not more money. Give me more relics early. Unstable brew. Gain 15 ability power until end of turn on your next turn. Lose 15 ability power. Okay. Eat fish. Was there fish? Tiny, there's no fish. Goku and Goku's the strongest character ever created, or all guaranteed all runs guaranteed wins. Well Goku loses every now and then so that he becomes more powerful later on. Greenberry, why'd you shoot shiny? Just in general, eat fish. Hmm. So you see my my one here is a little line attack that puts uh Sorry, if you're if you're on stream, by the way, you've never seen this game before, most potentially. Uh, Inkbound is a tactical, if, if, tactical roguelike, turn-based game. So every turn, enemies make attacks on me. Red number is how much damage I'm taking. Blue number is how much action what I'm currently doing is taking. Bottom right is your action meter. I have three actions remaining. Bottom left is health meter, and then these are my three moves that I have right now. My one is the deal a small amount of damage and add threads to enemies. My two deals 100 damage evenly split between all threaded enemies, and it has a two turn cooldown. My three deals 25 to threaded enemies for each thread that I have out. 
And then the blue circles are my movement range, so you see the little circle around me is my minimum range. This costs one action to move, this costs two, and then for three I can go all the way out. Orbs will spawn occasionally, or every turn an orb will spawn, it gives me one energy back and lowers the cooldowns on my stuff by one. That's the basics of it, nice and simple. Now it's time to min-max my positioning here. Yeah, I'm so good. And then I think I can hit both of these guys. So we get a bonus if I can hit both of them in one move. I might actually just spend one action to guarantee it. And then I walk over to the orb here. Right, so I get one energy back because I have threaded every enemy here. That's how it works. You thread them all up, you get an energy back. And now I can do like, I can just blast. Oh yeah. And then I'm thinking, I'm taking four. I think I just constrict. It'll kill the the little rat. Wait, it doesn't kill the rat? Explain to me how this doesn't kill the rat. Deal 100 damage, split evenly to threaded enemies, deal 50 damage each. Oh, I have the damage resist! Damn, that's fucked up. He's got the ink shell. Hey, Gilgord, how's it going? What's happening? Pretty fast, yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit spooky. There's a lot of dogs on me. They got their dogs out for sure. I get one back for my, so we, we gotta figure out how I'm getting all of these guys threaded up. I guess it's just like this, right? Spend two here. Pinky power. What is it? Why are they getting power? Is it these guys? It's these guys. Raises at turn start. He dodges the first attack against him. What a what a little what a little, little little guy. I'll just so we get them all threaded up. And we bring them all in. Oh yeah, look at that. Damn, I'm getting kind of smoked here though. Have I tried to come? I don't think so. No, it hasn't occurred to me. Actually. Dude, I saw... Do any of you follow Humans of New York on Facebook? I followed them in high school because I thought it was a pretty cool page. Some dude that he interviewed today... First of all, I, I, should, I should do the establishing part first. Do you guys know what Humans of New York is? Are you familiar with the page? No, yeah, no. Alright, okay, I'll explain for those who are unaware. Uh, hum Humans of New York is a dude who goes around New York and just interviews people. And he makes Facebook posts where he... So, he'll, he'll walk up to someone on the street and he'll talk to them. And then he'll just make like a Facebook post with a picture of the guy or girl. And the post will be like, whatever they talked about or whatever they said. I don't know exactly how it works, like, I don't know what the process is, how he ta how he talks to them, what he asks them to get them to say whatever they want to say, but that's the gist of it. He, like, he interviews random people in New York. <laughs> Sounds familiar? Yeah, I, it was, it's a really big Facebook page. On your turn, 33% chance to gain 5 ability power until end of turn. Dude, friend, they put an item in the game named after you? That's pretty crazy. First combat, Verdant Seed, 2 max HP, and heal 2 at the end of every fight. That's sweet. Friend, why are you crying? Every time I talk to you, he goes, I love lying on the internet. I'm not a liar. Oh, <laughs> this is a classic Catch-22. Just lie for fun and entertainment purposes. Well, well, well. Put one stack of Frostbite to enemies with Threaded. I'll take this. Anyway, this this dude, so the Humans of New York, he interviewed this guy, and this dude's entire interview, it's, it's probably, if I were to guess, I would say it's probably like the equivalent of three or four paragraphs of conversation. His entire conversation piece is like how, uh, how unbelievably good he is at sex. And it sounds conceited, but the way this is framed, this dude is so fucking confident it, like, everything he says in this interview is so matter-of-fact that I'm like, damn, I believe him. 
I I believe him. Like the the shit that he says is that he he should friend he should, he should friend. I don't think it's called pegging if it's two guys. I think that that's something else. But no, he's his entire the entire thing that he talks about is like I made this woman. I I made. A woman come over the course of 10 years like 5,000 times without ever coming myself. And I went, what the fuck is he talking about? What on earth is my guy saying? But he also, he says something about how he does some Taoist technique where he withdraws the energy within himself while he's having sex. And... Like, it deepens the bond of the relationship so much that he had some girl that he did this with and he went and caught up with her two years later and he went to the bathroom and he went to the bathroom at her house because he was having dinner after like catching up because they broke up or whatever. And he goes into the bathroom and he opens the medicine cabinet and there's a shrine to him in the medicine cabinet with like pictures of him and shit like that. To which I went... What? This is not real? I don't know, Cranberry. I choose to believe that it's real because it's so it's so absurd that I just I choose to believe it. But I also believe that he said it. It is it's a great uh, piece of that entire Facebook page because that dude could be completely full of shit. He could absolutely just be fucking with you. But the other parts of what he talks about are like how he, let's see, what else does he say? Because the entire interview is just gold. He talks about how when he meets women now, he just tells them that he would, he doesn't want to hurt them. So he wants to just be friends and not make them hate him. It's such an insane post. Oh. Oh yeah, he also mentions that he used he was he used to have because he's like a he's, he looks like he's probably in his late forties if I were to guess, and he mentions how he used to have really long red hair, and he used to be an exotic dancer, and they put him on the cover of romance novels. So there, either this dude is living out his wildest fantasy in this moment, or. He's, he has actually lived the greatest, most insane life ever. I don't know which one I prefer to believe, but either way, it was such a crazy thing. It was such an insane read. I should go uh, look it up and read it to you after this run. It's so wild. Like, I, I started reading it because I, I was just like passingly curious in what they said. Usually I just read one paragraph and then I stop, but... I just kept reading because he just kept he just keeps going. Crank found a truly top tier YouTube comment this afternoon. Hey Alambic. Alambic, wake up. <laughs> Plot of hey Arnold? What the fuck? Is that what happens in A. Arnold? Alembic, someone here is complimenting your very funny and good YouTube comment. I'm healing too? What am I healing from? Oh, is he- he's dying and I'm healing from Verdant Seed? Yeah. Famed top YouTube commenter Alembic Overflow drops another banger. In your turn, 35% chance to gain one will. First turn, inflict four frostbite to all enemies. I don't care that much about this. I'm down for the one magic power with a slight bonus of sometimes I get an extra will. That's cool with me. I'm not too interested in... I guess I could take the heal. It's probably better than rerolling. If you didn't notice from between now, between when we last played this game in the alpha and now, there's a lot more damage that you're forced to take, but you get to heal a lot more as well. Like one stack of frostbite to threaded enemies. I don't feel like I need multiple of these. Let's go for bigger constriction. Look 
the garden. What the? I'm gonna go to the the sea breach is basically like a little question mark fish, by the way. In case you forgot, they did put everyone's favorite character Joel in this game. Has anyone have? Do you guys have anything? Any Twitch chat emotes that this reminds you of? Any uh, any any emotes that this one make you think of? Fish pog, that's close. No? Takeka, nothing comes to mind? Really? Nothing at all, huh? Plus three ability power. Yeah, I'll just eat it. Wait, where am I? Did I, just I almost just walked right past this. Do you... I mean, look. I'm not saying that... Th I, it's kind of easy to miss. Okay, so this guy has three options. Option one, I get a medium amount of money. Option two, I get a lot amount of money, but I get less money for the rest of my life. Or option three, I give him money and I get money from here on out. I get money. Uncommon augment glyph globule. I'll go. I'll go superior vault. I was MP in this game. It, like, I, do you mean like action points, or do you mean meta progression? Maybe meta progression? Multiplayer! Ah! Multiplayer is fun. I played it with Cranberry and Gabriot. It's it's, it's solid. It does feel a little easier than single player just because you have so much more to play off of. But we're pretty early on in the difficulty anyway. So I'm not 100% sure how difficult it really is. But yeah, I dig it. So far, I'm in. The connectivity is solid. Friend, I do apologize, by the way. I, something I wish I had done but did not do is I wish I had advocated for some sort of offline mode for uh, people outside of the United States. If you do pick up this game, friend, I would be really interested to hear if you can actually play it. Because it is still always online. This is, dude, the combat preview is so much better than it was in the beta, though. last time during the server test it, you said it was like a 10 second delay didn't you like you could play it it was just hard to deal with it'd be good if you could just have it not be a nightmare to play Not a lot of fun except for when i betrayed you look cranberry i have a history of uh taking off my shirt you see and it's been one week since you looked at me I also have a history of just kind of. I'm. I'm never. I'm never the one to make the the evil move. It felt good to be a villain. Are there more servers up on launch? That's also true. I don't know what the status of the servers is. And then being off hours is server distance. Yeah, it's server distance. Am I sorry? Hell no, I'm not sorry. Are you kidding me? I'd do it again in a heartbeat. my orb cooldown reduction. So far it feels like what you do as the weaver is set up your thread and then just blow these idiots away. It's kind of solid. Because it also gives me, when I get controlled weaving, I get uh, shield. The problem that I see right now Oh no, what, every thread gives me shield, okay. The problem that I see with this character right now is it's gonna be really hard to finish fights. Like, you see this guy with 719 HP? Be, if this guy has forced damage, like, if he if he has to hit me, I'm just going to get hit. Probably not even thread him. Does anyone, has anyone figured out how long orbs last, by the way? Because I have not actually paid attention. your companions by recalling them? I don't think that's true. I don't believe you. I'm gonna stop hitting this guy now, because he's just gonna keep getting more powerful. I think it's two turns? We'll see. I'll keep an eye out. I can get an orb every turn, and so I can cast my abilities every turn here. 
And I guess we just set him up with burn. Oh, I get controlled weaving. I see. Once per turn. So if every if every enemy is threaded, I get it anyway. Okay, never mind. It's fine. I'm chilling with controlled weaving. Solid. Did you know you can skip the chest? I did actually, Cranberry. Thanks for asking. Sleep trickle. I'm defeating an enemy. Chat 25% chance to gain one will. They did keep in these, like 25% and 33%. But I don't really care about these because it's not that big of an impact. It's just like a nice bonus on top of the one magic power. I'm losing all shield to damage. Smite all enemies on turn start. Sure, that seems good. I can get a shield and then just blow through it for free damage. I'm down. Minus one cooldown for Constrict. Inflict Hex on Threads is good. Hex makes them take 30% more magic damage for the rest of the turn, so I can just go like... Hex in the stitch. What was the name for the dancing money pots? Nothing has really come to me. No, sorry. Nothing has really come come to me. I'm gonna reroll. I want something more exciting. I guess frostbite damage is fine. You found the sex man? Friend. Tell me. Read that shit? Yeah, thank you. Ah, it's on Twitter too. Oh, yeah, that's right. I want to read the part. Uh, he does He does refer to it as a ding-ding in this post, by the way. That's right. He didn't say 5,000. He said, I once provided thousands of orgasms over a five-year period without ejaculating a single time. It's called Mantak Chia's Microcosmic Orbital Energy Raising. <laughs> Bro, he's hitting them with the fucking Mantak Chia's microcosmic orbital energy raising. A Taoist love making technique where you don't release your seed. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> he's hitting them with the fucking Naruto Jutsus. Teleport a far distance away on turn start full cost discount. An ally gains one stack of evasive and gains critical charge on a random binding. Let's take blink. Is the book he said he wrote, but he didn't see it? If you if you read, friend, he says he lost it in an old computer. He wrote it, but he never published it. Blink is OP. Yeah, this character doesn't have a movement ability, so I'm down for a free movement for sure. Ah, oh, minus one cooldown, so I can just blink for free on turn start. Your B? Ah, it's okay, friend. I forgive you. I don't know if Cranberry's gonna forgive you, though. Ah, yes, and then reduce the will cost of a random binding by one. Ah. How lovely. Now I just blink twice at the start of every fight, and I get two free minus ones. What's this guy say? Palpable silence looms over you. I'm not reading this. Guardian. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of words. Sorry, I can't read, by the way. Enemies appear in the text logs on the left. They do, yeah. Supportive Spindle Caster, Inkling Slasher, Pigment Earth Shaker. It's just a little tough because we're coming off of uh, Wild Frost with the greatest naming schemes of all time. Literally every enemy in Wild Frost has a banger name. Uba Bear, Grink. You know what? What's up, Cranberry? You believe this guy? Right? Like, I can't explain it to you, but if you read the post, I believe him, dude. I don't understand why. Like, 100%. I believe that guy. I'm pretty sure he's telling the truth. It's kind of nuts. I guess I don't hit him here. He does. He has like he has so much charisma. Just from you can tell just from him talking there. He's so real. The way he says it and everything he says, I'm just like, yeah, you know what? I believe this guy. He's he's right. Do I have controlled weaving here or is there another imposter among us? I think there's only is there Oh I see him. He's he's here. Hold on. Yeah, you see him? 
I wish this my number one is I hope they put a toggle in for this this look. <laughs> People figure out about the Mantec Chia's microcosmic orbital energy raising. Brother, I've been saying that all my life. I'm all, I've been saying it all day, every day since I was born. We can't let them hear about it. The people aren't ready for the the MCM OER. The part, where, yeah, I also love the part where he says he just happens to stumble on a shrine of himself. Like it, it just describing it, because you all heard me describe it before you read the post. It sounds so fucking conceited. But if you read it, he's like, it, it, I believe him, dude. Especially you look at his, you look at him in the picture too. You get the picture with it. Yeah. I believe that guy. About the seed, the bit about the seed, you don't like the seed part? Yeah, that's fair. I'll give it to you. Oh, well, oh, I should have. I forgot to put the thread on him first. I missed text, by the way. I'm not sure you like the new borders on AoEs. Uh, which ones? You have to point it out to me. Thread those losers. I should hit him as well before I forget. I will play a shield here. Suck him in. Hit him with the, hit him with the shmove, and we're done. I think I'm chilling. Double layered with arrows. I'll have to. Uh, oh, the the. I think I know what you mean. Not this one, but the the one where they show off that they're charging. Oh, I can blink for free. The mobility is so nice. I I'm getting hit. Oh, he just has a lot of attack. That's all. In the Taoist system, one begins by opening and completing two main channels, up the spine in the back, and down the front of the body. Linked together by the tongue, these two routes form the microcosmic orbit. They serve as a circulatory system for the body with built-in cooling sa- What the fuck are you- Friend, are you reading an excerpt from Cyberpunk? Cooling valves in the- the safe safety valves in the body? Is this from Blade Runner? God, it takes so long to kill it. Really, Wild Frost? No, we'll do Wild Frost every other day. Until I see what the reaction is to this game and Wild Frost. I've, I've hit my goals with Wild Frost, so I'm good to take a break until they add more difficulty. But there's got to be something to play that's exciting. I guess it's free damage. He's not getting more powerful by me doing this. It's on blink, the new AoE reticle. Oh, I didn't even notice that it was different. I didn't even notice the difference there. Wild well, Frost longer than most people did. It's a good game. It's a lot of fun. And I'm good at it. But I am ready for an update, basically. It's gotten to the point where I'm I'm good enough at it. Like it I hate to say it, but it really has gotten to the point where I feel like that I've reached the end of the depth. Feel 105 to threaded enemies? Oh, just like straight up 105 to everyone that you hit. I'm going to teach me a technique at a retreat at the Tao Guardian from at the Tao Garden from January 17th and 19th. How much is it, friend? Whenever whenever they say a retreat, you know it's like $3,000. 
Inflict 10 stacks of burn to threaded enemies and detach threads? I don't like this. I don't like detach threads. I'll go for big damage. I think my Wild Frost win rate is now? My Wild Frost win rate is in the mid 60s. I backed up the save file. Oh, it costs minus zero will the first three ti times you use it each turn. That's very good. I backed up the save file, but I did get a. I reset my save file, so we have a fresh start. And my goal is to see how long it'll take me to full clear. Needless! Needless! We've waited so long for you! While you've been off saving the world, we've been making a list of things for you to do! Yes, it's all very exciting, but we really can't understate the importance of these tasks. Uh -huh. Meet some, defeat others. Just follow these tasks and you'll be on your way. To what okay. though? We if you truly are. Don't talk to me. I don't need the heal, but poison and spike damage is pretty bad, so I'll just reroll. Burn damage is cool. I have a little bit of natural burn. First turn, drastically reduce movement, crit chance, and ability power. That one's not too bad. Bomb near you, that's not too bad. Villains and Guardians gain 25% max HP shield and deal 25% more damage when brought to half HP. I don't think that sounds very nice. Do you see how long it took me to kill that boss? 340 euros per week? Friend, isn't it a weekend? I wish Dallas were here so I could ask him about this. You know, I gotta tell you, I read the Tao Te Ching, the Book of the Way. They don't say anything about uh, sucking your seed back into yourself. They don't. They don't mention that once in that book, by the way. Just, just saying. At no point in that book do they mention that. I don't think Lao Tzu ever says a word about that, so I am a little curious who came up with it. What's the book like? Is it cool? Yeah, it's solid. I don't know, I, I do a pretty good amount of self-reflection as is, so it's a lot of things that are like, yeah, that makes sense to me. Like not, I'm not saying like I'm better than Lao Tzu or anything like that, but like it's a lot of stuff that's like, it's either things are just completely not related to me whatsoever, like how to rule countries well, which I don't give a shit about. Or it's things like, uh, you know, the the bowl is most useful when it's empty. Or dude, you're right. Right on. I don't know if he actually says the bowl is most useful when it's empty. I don't remember that exactly, but that's like something to the effect of that is said in the book. The one that I think is, like, there's a lot of interesting things that they say in that book. It's, it's chill. I'd read it. I thought it was a good read. It's also pretty quick. If you really want to go through it, it goes fast. They're not together, are they? Based advice and philosophy? Yeah, like, it's definitely a worthwhile read. I should pick up a book. I should order a book to my grandmother's house. I should read something. Because what I'm gonna do if I don't get something to do is I'm just gonna, like, watch YouTube or maybe wa maybe I'll download something to watch. You guys got any good anime recommendations? The or maybe movies? I don't know. I don't know what I want to watch. Maybe just a series? I don't know what I want, though. That's the problem. Oh, I should have used shield wall. One half hour online zoom call plus four pre-recorded modules for 150 euros. Hmm. Have I seen the boys? I don't think I would like the boys. Uh, Cash, I gotta warn you, this one's probably going to YouTube. Just, just be warned, Cash. You don't want to have another incident. I miss this guy. Fuck. What incident? You know, just, just warning you, Cash. 
You don't wanna you don't wanna end up in any sticky situations. One thing that I wish I could do is move the camera. Has there been more drama after I have job? Not yet, but I did uh, the video that's going up. I'm gonna put the shadows of doubt up and cash with. He was doing a little bit of contesting the YouTube. There you go. I gotta take the phased off of him. That's what I was missing. Destroy all bats. Yeah, shield. Hey, Carsane, how's it going? Hold shift. Oh, Luke, thank you. Great tech. Oh, yeah, Cash, you did miss me talking about this dude who talked about how he made women come thousands of times without ever coming himself. So fun to see your movement ranges. That's uh, natural. Like, that's just in the game now. Oh, no, the it's whenever you cast an ability, it shows you your movement ranges. Like I'm doing here. So you just cast a move and you get it. I played that like five times in the demo. That's a great, do great job, buddy. Great choice. Got a book over to here, I think. I wish I could like I wish I could spam block or something with my extra turns, because I am doing nothing here. But Yeah, hold well, on, let me scroll up and read what you guys recommended. What'd you guys say? Read Mr. Pavamar, what's that about, friend? Have I seen the boys? I don't think I would like the boys. 15 seasons of NCIS. It can't be. It has to be something I can download though, because my grandmother's internet is really bad. Just watch Severance. Yeah, give me a sell me on it. Have you watched? Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? And I have not. What's that about? Alembic, what's, tell, tell me what your shows are about. Sell me on them. Look, look, how's it going? More sex minutes described the more it sounds like a medical issue. Oh shit. What if it is? Jujutsu Kaisen? Beast watches that, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, it did, that one didn't really call to me, but I guess I didn't really look at it too much. It's such a waste of my time to actually- like, I'm actually lowering my damage if I swing with these threads because of the- the ink reduction. Watch Dragon's Dogma anime is so bad. I would like to watch something that's good. It's like in Fish for Crits, but eh. We killed one? I'm, I'm coming off of watching uh, Ghost in the Shell standalone complex, so I'm hoping to find something that feels similarly good to that. Full Metal Alchemist. I'm sorry to tell you that I watched Full Metal. I watched like the first three episodes of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood with my friends, and I did not like it. Octopus event where everyone on Earth has turned to stone for thousands of years, the Earth returns to nature, so Big Brain Science Guy has to rebuild civilization from the ground up. And he calls himself Dr. Stone? Brotherhood is cringe? I've never heard it. Everyone always says Brotherhood is so cool. Five stacks of frostbite to the attacker is good. And then call himself Dr. Stone? Okay. I was gonna say, it's like a little bit, a little bit questionable if he's out here calling himself Dr. Stone. On turn start, full cost discount. Quick and Constrict sounds cool. The additional shield for each turn, shield wall is not used. Now give me, give me Quicker Constrict. Your Good on, good on my end? Just you? Yeah, sorry, just you. Uh, I'm gonna go binding empowerment. 
Dream's fine. Bless up, Charter. Range increase to max? Hmm. Oh, heal two would have been sick there as well. Pull enemies towards you. Oh, pulling enemies together is cool. Reduce cooldown of your highest cooldown binding by one. They're all one. Oh, shield wall isn't. Does that controller support? Great question. Doesn't look like it. I don't think so. I've been meaning to check that though, because this would be a great controller game. Let me go look at the Steam page real quick and see if they have anything about it. Oh, the reviews are coming back around. It's mostly positive now. Great news, everyone. I don't think this has controller support. I checked, though. It might just be that my controller wasn't plugged in when I launched the game, but I don't know. I don't see anything about it. I'm gonna fix my chair. What the hell? There we go. It's like Diablo? No, not, not really. Diablo's a little... Uh, Diablo... No, Diablo's not turn-based. Yeah, ARPGs are a lot faster. I'll go pull enemies towards you. This is a turn-based game. It's... The thing that's difficult about this game, for, for me, is that it's basically impossible to... Uh, describe it. Because this, this game is not like anything else that I've played. Diablo is turn-based, but the turns are one second timed. Just like real life. And shield. I like the build we got going on here. It does feel like it gets a little bit fucked up by this ink shell, but that's okay. I love Dancing Pot. This guy's so cool. They make it so you can't go back forever? I have heard that. I haven't tested it myself, though. Okay, yeah, you can see my turns are turn- it's turn-based, like the enemies declare their attack, and then I... Uh, take my turns, like so. Oh, shield pulse free. Above my head, the orange- the red number is how much damage I'm currently taking, the blue number is how much energy I'm spending. So, like, this is one, two, it costs me three to walk all the way up here. And then in this little circle is free movement. And then I have abilities down here. The character that I'm playing as attaches threads to the enemies and then uses his other abilities to manipulate based off of the threads. So this is going to pull enemies towards me. And then this is going to do damage to the enemies based on how many are threaded and it's going to pull them closer together. Where's my orb, by the way? There it is. If I can just go again. Ooh, scary. God, I get so screwed by this ink shell. It's not even, like, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's just very unfun. What do you mean requires target? Look me over here. There's so much on the screen right now. It's not too hard to dissect because you can tell if you're getting hit because it lights up to be pink. I think for the first season of Darker Than Black. What is, uh, what is Darker Than Black about? Also, hey, v.me, what's going on? Thanks for the raid. Hey, gang. What's happening? I don't know. I guess I just hit the pot. At least it doesn't get the ink shell. Yo. Yo. He's so cool, Olympic. He's welcoming, wel welcoming them to Twitch chat. Oh, when my- oh god, I'm dying. Look at this guy. Hello, homies. Hey, how's it going? Am I getting- I'm getting locked down. 
Chinese Assassin Electric Batman. Hey, uh, Viva Me, did you play this game, by the way? And if so, what did you think of it? And also, I'm going out of town soon. Please recommend me a show to watch. <laughs> On a walk with a bunch of reactive dogs. Please don't treat your dogs like this. Don't do this to your dogs. Big fan of this game has been a blast so far. Me too. I'm also having a lot of fun right now. Except for this freaking ink shell ruining my day. Am I actually just taking 20 force damage? What the fuck? Like maybe I'm not having fun. Why am I taking 20? Who's hitting me for so much? Snare. They actually just do this damage, huh? It's okay, I have a shield potion. I think I'm getting screwed over by Ink Shell, though. Healed me up. Oh, I killed this guy. Never mind, it's sweet. Detective Thriller part action fun. Hmm. The pot has left me. How sad. Got my controlled weaving. Probably gonna blink over to here. So we can. Ah, oh, wrong one! Frig. Just suck them all in and then hit them. This would be so sweet if I could actually kill people with this, though. But it's too many hits. Yeah. Blink to reset damage, waste damage first, then blink. What do you mean by this? Has zero been recommended yet? I don't think so. I don't know what that is, so probably not. Oh, this guy's not... he's not a Link. Frig. You got me. Is that a PvP mode? That, friend, that's every time I play this game with Cranberry. This is one shield. One will on the next turn when being hit. You produce one CD. No, Blink is, uh... I think it's one... Will. Yeah. No, it reduces the cost. Not the cooldown. I get what you mean. Definitely gonna go on combat and heal 10. What kind of media do you usually enjoy? I'm, uh... It's a great question. Usually I don't watch things, so I just watch whatever Dagon puts on for movie night. Maybe I'll get a book. I guess I could try reading The Way of Kings again. I do have The Way of Kings. I just didn't really like it that much. Started, I don't want this. Heal 2 seems good. The Way of Kings is tough to get into. I liked, uh, I liked the first... I, I liked Mistborn. I actually I really liked Mistborn. I read all three of Mistborn. But Way of Kings, I just, I couldn't get into it. I don't know why. Maybe I'll give it another try. Get 120 to a threaded enemy. Nearby enemies are pulled toward the center, take equal damage, and become threaded. 60 to each enemy, to, to a threaded enemy for each thread, nearby thread enemy. Yeah, I want bigger damage for thread. The Broken Earth Trilogy? Friend, sell me on it. Steinsgate? Oh, I should watch Steinsgate. Steinsgate definitely seems like something that I would really like. I'm pretty sure I would really like Steinsgate. Should maybe go shop there. 
I have I can take plus one ability power. Put a globule. I go heroic ball. Plus one Steins Gate. Maybe I'll check out Steins Gate. How long is Steins Gate? Alright, gentlemen. Prepare to be sucked. Approach me. Blink over here. Phrasing? No, I said what I meant. This one broken earth. Hold on, let me get a... Let me get a sticky note, and I will write down some things that I like. Steins Gate. I'll check out Broken Earth. Season. I'll put that. You know what I kind of want to watch? I don't think we're gonna watch it in movie night. I'm gonna put in Ghost in the Shell season two. I don't actually watch anime very often, so basically, I can give you all of the anime that I've ever watched. Dark, darker than black. Let me put it on. Fleshed out world where earth bending is real. Okay. Look, I'll open all your suggestions. I might also just play Dragon Quest 4 on my phone, because I did buy Dragon Quest 4. Another one that I expected to really like and just think is okay. Oh, maybe I'll buy a Final Fantasy game. Watch it, Cowboy. Cowboy Bebop is really good. I watched that one. So the anime that I've watched are Ghost in the Shell. Ca not counting anime movies, because we've run a few of those for Dagon's movie nights. But I watched Ghost in the Shell. And I've watched, uh, what's it called? Cowboy Bebop and One Punch Man. And that's basically it. Oh, I watched Spice and Wolf in high school too, because my friend couldn't get anyone else to watch it. So I watched it to be, to, to like, check it out for him. And I went, oh, this is actually sweet. Hang on a minute. I kind of like this show. One Punch, dude, I love One Punch Man. Hey Power, how's it going? How promising? What are my thoughts so far? It's good. This game's fun. Don't don't believe the commenters' lies about the battle pass. It doesn't really matter. I'm getting fucking smoked here, though. I think we eek our way over to here. I can't even kill him. Damn. Goku and I haven't seen Dragon Ball? I've seen like, okay, I've seen half of Dragon Ball Z. I watch, I watch, every time I watch Dragon Ball, I get past the Frieza arc and then the voice actors change and I go, ugh, I don't like how Vegeta sounds anymore. Oh, I need to do this move first. I've been fucking up. I need to sew first and then strangulate, by the way. Hey, Ferret, how's it going? Is it people really angry about having to pay money to wear a hat? Yeah. The, the reviews that are angry about this game are just mad about the battle pass, which I think is kind of weird. Am I dead, by the way? Hang on. I'm dying. I need to fix this by spending my potions, or else I'm gonna get obliterated. This- I will never pick this shit again, by the way. Inkshell is worse than I expected. I didn't even- I thought it was gonna be reasonably bad. It's, like, unplayable. What does Inkshell do? Every time I hit an enemy, they take 10% reduced damage, stacking up to 50%. And because of how my build plays, where I'm just having to set up the threads first, I am getting annihilated. I'm also misplaying my timings a little bit, but all right, we live, thank God. 
You don't see how it... Me doing fair? You... Oh, I got that with D&D. Nice. Hope it goes well. But you gave me Mushi Shi? Humans can live in harmony? Okay. For voluntary cosmetics so you can fund further development of the game pass release. Yeah, I mean, all it really said to me when I was reading the reviews is that the gamers are so fucking entitled, it's insane. Like, it's actually unbelievable how entitled gamers are. That people say shit like, oh, I don't want to have to pay. Like, it's... You know. <laughs> enemy on hitting an enemy inflicted with frostbite inflict two stacks of burn. Of these, yeah, I agree. I like this. Because it's like, oh no, I have to pay for cosmetics. I don't want to have to do that. Develop this game for free for the next three years. Oh, but it's early access. This is a finished game. Free to play is 20 bucks. And then the battle pass. People are saying the battle pass is like three dollars, by the way. I don't know how much of the battle pass is yet because I don't think it's out. And three stacks of spiked and flex right. These are all bad. I'm gonna reroll. Gain a shield for each enemy hit. Yes, that's what I want. Wait, I want to check if I can run back, by the way. Did they change it? Hmm? Looks like I can run back. Oh no, it does stop. It only goes back one area. How fast is three dollars? So the thing that's the thing that I heard from Dusk is that uh, if you buy the first battle pass, there's so much money in it that if you finish the battle pass, you'll have enough to buy the next battle pass or close to it. Any premium currency anymore? Blizzard ruined the lesson for our hots. I don't know what the hell happened with Overwatch 2. Overwatch 2 is just depressing, I think. Oh, uh, everyone, by the way, Mets fan warning. Hey, uh, you happen to run across a couple of babbling quills, by the by? One black, one white, one serious as an ancient tragedy. The other more chattery than a toddler what just learned to speak. Get the pal pass through grinding. No, you have to buy the first one, but there's so much. So you you buy the in-game currency, and there's so much in-game currency in the first battle pass. And this might change down the line, of course, but there's so much in it that you're pretty close to not, or pretty close to being able to buy the next one. Mm -hmm. And if you, just from the free track of the second one, you'll be able to buy the third one. About buying a game and having in-game purchases, but like, why? The developers continue developing the game after release, and they have to, like, eat. Incentivize getting cosmetics by making your base avatar look like it's straight out of Roblox? My guy looks great. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, if you do, you tell them the carver got them carved. Only took an age, but, uh, well, I'd say they look mighty nice. Oh, I guess that might be a bit tough for you, given your penchant for silence. Well, if they ask about it, just go waving your arms in a sort of confident manner, eh? They're dumb, but they'll get the idea. Hey! Let's go Mets, baby! Minus one will per orb, and plus one cooldown per orb? I don't want that. Gain an ability power until the end of combat on killing an enemy? That sounds good. I'm gonna toss the toss the will of fortunes for this thing. I'm gonna grab the heal as well. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really want to keep talking about the battle pass because I feel like I just, I'm gonna sound like the, the a broken record pretty soon because I keep saying the same shit over and over again. But yeah, it really doesn't bother me, and I don't feel like we should care. It's cool that the, de the developers of this game are not just going to release this and then call it a day. Let me get my threads out. Okay, now remember we need to do so first. Although, since nothing dies, I can pull them together first. Oh, 
All I'm saying, people hear the word live service and they think about the shit that Bioware's done and they go, oh no, it's gonna be bad. And look, I don't blame you, but <laughs> you know. Does this guy not have the damage resistance stacking, by the way? It's a little higher, a $70 game with battle pass, loot box, in-game currency. Yeah, no, I agree. It's like, definitely, if you're dropping... It's also, it depends on what the content of the battle pass is, for sure. This is all cosmetics. If you're going day one DLC that actually affects gameplay, that's obviously bad. But you gotta... It's just, it's context. There are bad battle passes out there. Many people have done very bad things with the concept of battle passes and live service. I think that you can look to any number of bad examples and you would be correct. But this game is just small indie devs trying to stay afloat, I feel. Often the battle pass and develop free DLC content, pay 20 for a few free DLC. Yeah, also true. Also true. I, I, I wonder... I'll be interested to see if they do things like character DLCs, because if you look on the character screen, there's definitely more characters planned. So I'm curious to see if that's going to be free or DLC. I could see either one, but I feel like since they're doing the battle pass, I would hope that it's free. I won't be too mad either way. Moves on the battle pass. Yeah, that's true. It, for me personally, I think that it's not optional. My man was moving for sure. This boss, by the way, not particularly exciting. Nothing to really tell you about. Like, the last boss was scaling up every time and his allies died. This boss just spawns little goons that I kill. Where's the other one? Doesn't he spawn two? I swear he spawned two. Do I have control weaving right now? I do. Here. Oh, he phases. All of the bosses now, when they reach the diamond health, they just go immune for the turn and cancel their attack. Let me have a purple V next to your name in this chat. Yeah, true. Battle passes don't bother you on the macro. Fair. But think about all the value that I give you as a, as a subscriber. New follower parties? Not right now. I'm probably... I didn't mention this, but I will probably do open lobbies tomorrow night if you guys want to play some. I want to just do some solos tonight, but tomorrow I'd be down to do some, some open lobby gaming. I waste money for tax purposes anyway. That's what they all say. Is your, dude, I should make a battle pass. That's such a good idea. Which chat battle pass? Holy shit. Imagine the analytics. People be flocking to call me slurs. The gamers would be so mad. Demand royalties? Who dat? I got you. I'll give you uh, a free, free battle pass. That's what I offer you. My burn build is doing pretty well, by the way. We're actually building up a pretty good amount of burn over these longer turn fights. Because now we have, on hitting an enemy with inflicted with frostbite, inflict two stacks of burn. So now I get to build up good burn through the threads. It's all starting to come together. Hey Setch, how's it going? You're flocking. Setch, how does it feel that what you have done is you have imparted a lasting legacy on every piece of content I will ever create now because I said he's grinking me one time and it stuck. How you feeling about that? Can I get an interview with the grink man himself? I'm so proud. It He loves it. Setch, you're a, you have made my uh, career. Yeah, this relic is really good. The the stacks of burnout or the stacks of burn per frostbite super good. Deal 30 damage in a cone, inflict thread. Each attached thread grants one ability power. Deal 24 damage in an area at a distance, inflict threaded. 
Controlled Weaving grants three ability power. So more enemies means this is better. Less enemies means this is better. Does the Jeb pose regularly? Yo! Jeb. I know that guy. I'm gonna go loop. Thinking that they buffed encounters to discourage solo play? I, so, I will say, I... Look. We just went through this part, and Rob, I'm not, this is not directed at you, please be aware, this is not directed at you. We literally just went through this with Wild Frost. It's day one and people are bitching about balance. If your negative review is game too hard, brother, play the fucking game. I'm gonna go Evasive Blink because now I can get two stacks of dodge every turn. Is this game too hard or not? I don't know. Oh, thank you. I forgot my legendary. I always forget these, by the way. Please do remind me. On hitting, inflict one stack of shocked. Yeah, I'm done with this. On hitting, inflict shock sounds good. Using all shield. Shield damage. I think we drop C trickle. Oh, actually, inflict three stacks of burn. Oh, that's plus five burn damage, though. Hmm. Blind post better? I think I'm just blind. Zephyron is really good, for sure. I mean, I guess it's, it could be both. It could be both I'm blind and they could do a better job of making it pop. But yeah, is this game harder? This game is definitely harder than it was in the alpha, but the game was like borderline unlosable in the alpha, so I am happy that they made it harder. Alright, so my thread's now in a cone, and I apply shocked. I think we pull them together first. I am not doing damage. Oh, one guy died. I guess I can do like I have three energy left. Running win achievement in Wild Frost is still at ten percent completed. I don't know, man. I I, really, I don't know what to say. I feel like everything I could say in response to that is just arrogant. It's just like, game, games are hard, and I, I guess your response to that is, uh, not you specifically, but the, if you have trouble with that game, your answer has to be, I just don't get it, and not, this game is broken. I don't think you could totally lose because people with spam abilities and cause enemies to one shot the team. They took that out, actually. Enemies don't have reaction attacks anymore. You're right, though. Like, that could happen. But yeah, they took that out. I'm gonna blink out of the way here. Cope and blame the game. Yeah, like, it's actually... It is cope, but I don't want it... There are times where games are difficult and it's real. It just... You have to accept that you're not perfect at the game on day one. And you have to get over it. You're gonna lose and you have to go through the learning process to figure out how to actually become good at the game if you want to be good at the game. And I just, I pray we don't, like, 20 step ascension systems are sweet and they're cool, I guess, but also, oh god, I don't want to play 80 runs of Slave Aspire again to get to the actual difficulty I'm gonna play on. That shit drives me nuts. Slave the Spire is a great game, founded the genre. The ascension system is hell. Frustrating. I agree. The Ascension, it's just so brutal. I have to go through so many runs to get to the actual difficulty. I don't, you've probably noticed this about me if you've watched the content for a while. But like, I tend to just start on the highest difficulty whenever games will let me. Or, you know, in, uh, what about Slice and Dice? Shut up, straw man. Yeah, Slice and Dice is unlock all extremely nice. It lets me just skip it lets me take the game at my own pace. There's an amount of it, though, where you can't really trust your player base. It, so, there's a concept in game design where you have to... Uh, 
you have to protect the player from themselves is the concept because players will undoubtedly ruin games for themselves it's just a fact if you let someone grind a game and just like hey this is five percent more optimal but it sucks they'll ruin the game for themselves so you have to protect your player from ruining the game and making it unfun and for the sake of being optimal but at the same time you have to trust your player to be able to handle the difficulty options yeah slice and dice play hell mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hey catch how's it going Watch the same video I'm quoting? I, am I quoting a video? Maybe I am. Are you dead yet? Give us praise from a developer's... Ah, uh, that sounds right. Yeah, I mean, it might have been a GDC. Didn't say hi to you? Goose, you didn't say hi to me. It's a two-way street, this hello. Plus a hundred? Plus a hundred? Didn't I say hi first? No. You say you type people arrive, I say hello. Huh, I guess plus a hundred. Doro Hedoro. Urban fantasy, high magic, action horror, a man cursed with a lizard head, and his restaurateur art. Oh, anime, I see. Akano, the Titan. Here, let me. Let me put all of these. I'm making a sticky note. I'll put all of these down. I'll just, like, I'll peruse through. Ah, hello, Goose. How's it going? Also, hey, Rope. How's it going? Sorry, you did hop in. Give me the quilling race from the game for the Ascension of Bindings. Oh, I think I know what you mean. Because it was like you had to build up money really fast. I think I know what you're talking about. The hours are less so good for a trip. I will be gone for like a week, so I can probably watch multi-season things, by the way. Doro he Doro. Baka no. Tatami. I think I've heard of Tatami Galaxy. No, you... Keep your hands off Aizuken. Mm -hmm. Human error by making undodgeable attacks way more common. True. Real. Can I shop in Battle Pass when you always spend 600 currency on Battle Pass and get 1600 back? Yeah, no, I mean, people just want to be mad. I, you know, as someone who likes to be mad myself, I kind of get it. But <laughs> not a lot. Throughout well, the fight is probably done. It's uh, 2 max HP per fight as well, so this is giving me 16 max HP. Build up in the full quote was given the opportunity players will optimize the fun out of a game, therefore one of the responsibilities of designers is to protect players from themselves from civ devs. Yeah, I mean, I've optimized... I've optimized fun out of games. Have you seen... Classic example, have you seen the video I did of Monster Train where it's like 5 a.m., and my only line to win the run is this stupid infinite I set up. And I just go, okay, I have to play Subzooming Blade on this unit now like 200 times. I'm going to pause the recording. I'll be back when I'm done. And then like an hour later, I unpause the recording and I just sound like hell. Oh, that video's a banger. I don't really like any of these, but I'm not gonna reroll. I think I'll take unstave, but I'm I have dodge, so I'm hit game three. I don't get hit. I guess this one's the only one that's worth taking. We get rid of unstable circuitry. Empire survivors all achievement speed run cash. That was fun. Did we go away because you thought the game was almost over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually giving me 16 HP. Griplands have gotten more content. The problem for me with Griplands was that Griplands is really hard as a stream game. Yeah, I actually I lose uh I lose 16 HP for throwing this out. Oh shit! Oh, that's not good. Okay, lesson learned. Don't drop it. Instantly, thanks for fixing it. Yeah, no problem, dude. Foxy, I got you. 
You know I got you. Science? I think there's a heal before the boss anyway. Grifflines is dead. You're trying to harden the Discord server. Are you in the Grifflines official Discord cache? Because I'm sure there are people in there that still talk about it. But ultimately, the game is really cool and I liked it. But it was a game from a content perspective where the runs were like six hours. And that just, I just can't do that. Oh, I could dip. I could drop the Verdant Blossom. That's what I can drop. No, in my Discord? I cash. I know where you can go to fight the good fight. Uh, it disappeared because I left. Oh, that's my bad. Alright, uh, you should heal me. Got the max HP back. You get the max HP back, but you don't get the actual health back. What fight is it, by the way? Ah, oh, it's the runestone. Alright. Rank dive run. This is a rank dive run. I'm currently bronze three. This is my third rank dive ever. Why not see shop? I, I looked at the shop. There was nothing I could buy. So each of the final fights has a gimmick. This guy's gimmick is that he takes 80% less damage and I have to make his hands hit him. Don't worry, it's pretty sweet. Step one is I have to damage the hands a little bit. Oh, you can actually pull them. Oh, it's hell. Oh, I didn't eat my fish. I'll eat my fish. More games gave modding tools out like Downfall. If this game gives me modding tools, I'm gonna give the Brooklyn Carver a Mets hat. If they give me modding tools, I'm giving that guy a Mets hat. That's just how it goes. I fought the bird yet? Yeah, the bird's a piece of shit. The bird's un- okay. You know, I said earlier in this run, I didn't feel like the visual clarity was that bad. Uh, I take it back. Grifflands a lot- Grifflands did feel a little easy as well. I didn't get to the highest difficulty though, to be fair. But a lot of my runs, especially as Smith, felt, uh, really free. Where's the- okay, so... The way that this works now is one of these hands, and it's this one on the right, is making an attack that'll make it dash in a line. I need to make it target me and then run it into the boss. There's a visual clarity thing with the bird. There's no visual clarity problem with the bird. There's a... There's a visual clarity problem of what the hell am I looking at on the ground right here. I don't think there's anything wrong with the bird, though. I need to grab this one. Remove the ads in the bird fight drop. Yeah, yeah, it tells you. Uh, it tells you if you hover over this. The bird has like a little blurb, like the Shadow of Runestone one, and it says something like, uh, defeat moss allies to drop the antidote or some shit. This is so fucked. I guess I'm just immune to damage though, pretty much. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> Excuse me. This is not, I'm not supposed to be here. How much am I taking? Zero? Hmm. I got a little bit pranked. Maybe, so I didn't really redirect the hand's attack very well because I've just clumped all the enemies together. So we're just gonna wait. The hands will run into these other guys. This other hand should be charging me now, yeah. So we just go over here and then we hit him and he'll turn. And now he hits the boss for sure. Fire's threaded? Oh, I have to target it here. Please. Oh, shift, by the way. No, I'm so stupid. 
I'm a big dumb idiot. Shift? Yeah, shift and you can... Shift and it lets you sh move the camera around. You kill the hands and they respawn. They don't die. Uh, they actually can't die. They become immune to damage at low HP. So the only way they die is if they run into the boss. At this rate, I might just kill him like this, though. So the way that it's supposed to work is because he's taking like no damage here. It's supposed to work by you uh, slowly, not slowly, you turn one, you just hit the hands down. Turn two, you have the hand, the one hand charge into him. Turn three, other hand charges into him. Uh, turn four, you break his health and then repeat twice. But because I have such high evasion, I guess I like I have two stacks of evasion every turn. I guess I just live forever. Cause I can't the hands will not hit the boss. It, they're just they're too weak. So I guess I'm just gonna apply my shit. I'm gonna talk my shit again. Cause like it's so hard to actually get them to hit the boss here. So I'll just keep stacking evasion, I suppose. I'll turn star, lose all stacks. Yeah, okay. But I can just get two stacks of evasion every turn, guaranteed, and I can just dodge. I'm about to optimize the fun out of this game. <laughs> I do think that this boss is the easiest one. By the way, I have found this boss to be pretty free. Hey Dust, thanks for 38 months. Ink Pog, how's it going? Shield me. Maybe this time I'll get the kill at hand. Is there an orb? Oh, it's over in hell. You know what? I can just leave that orb. I don't need it. Yeah, fuck you, idiot. Oh, it died to the hand. You know what? All part of my plan. I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, if this doesn't hit the boss here, it's so fucked. Like if I can if I can actually make this attack miss the boss, there's just no hope. There's absolutely no hope if I don't get him here. Plus, did I say thank you for 38 months? I know I said hello. Did I say thank you? Thank you anyway. Thanks again. He does clear your burn when he goes into the phase. Okay, he's definitely getting hit. I'm gonna accept one damage here. No doubt we hit him there. Hello, Dusk. Hello, Cash. Maybe I can get this one to hit him. Are you charging me? What are you doing? What are your thoughts on Gatorade? Cash, can I answer this question? He is charging me. Sure? I think that Gatorade has too much sugar. Gatorade Zero is kind of good, though. New hands, by the way. No longer has damage resist. Cannot be knocked out. Force the hands to hit the head to increase the damage it takes. Wait, what? No longer has damage resist, but cannot be knocked out. I don't know what the fuck they're saying to me. I drink Coke? Yeah. Like once a day. I can't drink Coke and Gatorade. You see. And between the two, I'm going to drink Coke. Can't die, but it doesn't say that he has damage resist, right? I mean, 
drink energy drink when you have a fever? I don't know how true it is. The electrolytes, I think, are supposed to be good for you, but I also don't know for sure. All right, everyone. Gather around. It's time for your flattening. Oh, no, he's taking full damage now. Plus the stacks to resist when the hands hit him? Yeah, but... He... But, like, I thought he was supposed to get it back when he phase changed. Did I phase change him and then hit him with the hand at the same time? I thought it was supposed to be back to two. I just phase changed him. Third phase is different? Okay. Cool. Right on. Where's my orb, by the way? Has anyone seen my orb? Is there not an orb out? Oh, no orb. Round of phase three? Okay. I think that was a little suspicious, but I don't know. If you guys don't think anything suspicious happened there, I'll believe you. Quest completed, gain shield. I'm dying, by the way. Well, I'm dying. Whatever. Alright, everyone, gather around. I don't think this character is weak, by the way. I think this character is very strong. My, like, through this damage resistance, I still won. I think this character is sick. I also feel like he's the most fun. By the way, I can ch I can emote on the windscreen. I would like to sit. Holy shit. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I got a joke set up here. Hang on. And then it's like, you go like, you go, you go to, so you click sit, and then you immediately click something else, and you go, oh no, he forgot how to sit down. And then I, I cut the YouTube video right there.